Hey guys, a little update here. Alright, do it again. Now, watch. Let me focus on it. Watch the shaft moving in the background of it. See it moving back and forth? No, it's staying. It's hard to see from up there. Because it's so close. But with my eyes dot on video, you can see, you can tell the shaft is bouncing around inside of the gearbox. And we're not going to mess with reusing that. We're putting a new pitman arm. Uh, we're going to go for a gearbox. This is a 03 550 two wheel drive. It's got both upper ball joints. Are got all kinds of got a lot of play in them. Uh, the passenger lower ball joints got play in it. That one's pretty tight right there, but I, he's probably going to want to replace them all when we're in there. The tie rod, the inner tie rod going right on the pitman arm is. Do it again. Not excessive play, but there is a little bit there. A little bit of play. We got another oh, we got another spot. Let me see if I can get it to focus. I mean it's so hard to tell on video. You just you just can't really see it very well. Okay. But it's five fifty getting a getting a pretty good overhaul. Uh, just put a number two injector in it. Uh, high pressure pump. Put a Ford high pressure pump. We're going to put a new ICP and new IPR, a new oil cooler. He had 50 degree deltas and key on engine running test. Failed low ICP on every single key on engine running test I could get. Uh, that's pretty much. Where's all the paperwork at? Hang on, guys. I'll... Where's the paperwork at? And uh, all the all the printouts that I had, I had them sitting right here. Yeah, here we go. Uh, yeah, number two had an idle. Number two kept spitting out at an idle. He had, uh, if you look, I can actually print this while I'm driving down the road. The computer remembers the print, and then when I pull in the shop, it connects the printer wirelessly and prints it. But he's running 222 and 183, so. Oil cooler gone. More printouts, number two, and then I've got 2290. Every single time on key on engine running test, it would fail 2290. And I got a, uh, uh, that was when I first got it. But it's uh, uh, low ICP, and then the ICP pigtail looks, I don't know if you can tell that. Pretty much, I mean, I got some oil on it from working here, but it was clean. You know, might as well replace it, but it's got, I don't know. I mean, it looks fine to me. I don't see any obvious melting or chafing going on with it. I'm going to ohm it from the pin out on the PCM before I change that. But we're just going to let this guy, uh, he's been nickel and dime with this truck. Got a lot of, a lot of parts on it that, I don't know, just... He's been beat up with it quite a bit, so we're going through running the gauntlet with it, and every time he turns the key, it's going to fire from now on, or I'm going to go to where he's at and make it fire. But, yep, it's a little shop update. We're, yep, all kinds of crap. But, uh, yeah, so now i got to find out, after doing all this work, he's also got ball joints and gearbox, so... We'll see how that goes.